Oh boy. So we can make military ones right now, so let's go set that up. We need piercing rounds, gun turrets, and grenades. We're not producing any of those right now, are we? Um... It's not looking like it. I don't think so. Uh... I don't think I've seen any grenades yet. Yeah, it's looking like we uh, don't have any of those automated. Okay. So, we want to automate uh, piercing around. So, steel, copper, and firearm magazine. So, we need... Do we have an area that has steel, copper, and iron all really close to each other? Hmm. We do. Yes, we do. Right here. It's up by way where we make our science packs. We have steel here, we have iron here, we have copper up there. Good deal. Okay. Okay, this isn't hard. Up where I'm standing right now, we could make it. Okay. Let me think about this. Hmm. Okay, well, we can stop this down here. And I- no way I can carry all that ammo, so I'll just pick up one. And we'll leave the other ammo chest there for now. Okay, so let me plan this out. If I were to... Maybe right here. So if those are getting... If those are making real ammo, or regular ammo, rather. Then... They drop it off over here. Get the steel from there. Hmm. Our first iron line is down to its last drill. Really? Oh, that's mm. depressing. Okay. Uh, yeah, I could have it there. It's not the cleanest in the world, but you know. That, and then that. That. I can get a copper line coming down this way. I'm going to clear this whole forest. Beautiful. Robots are clearing that forest for us. It's been bugging us the whole game. This <laughs> big chunk of trees in the middle of our base. Mm -hmm. Oh, it needs a storage chest. There we go. Alright, it's clearing that for me. When do I get my personal robot? Oh yeah, we can make that now. It is high time I have some robots doing my every whim. All right, uh, yeah, go ahead and make it. There's the batteries up north and everything. It's under combat, uh, bottom right in combat. Uh, it should be pretty easy to get stuff now. Okay, let's see. I need personal robo port. All right, 45 batteries, that's so many. I know, right? What is this? Oh, there's random fucking... Ugh. Once again, our uh, our automated belts have been turned off for a very long time because there were some random bricks in the line, in the production line. <laughs> How did these bricks... Why are there so many bricks in here? What? This... Yeah. How did all this fucking... Some stone must have gotten in a bunch of shit. So weird. Okay, okay, we're good, we're good. <laughs> oh, there's stone in that one too fucking hmm. okay i fixed it i think i've got all the stone bricks out of that line that was really jamming shit up fuck god no wonder we were so low on that for so long man all right we got that going again that probably really hampered our our research yeah we haven't been having uh green science packs for a while due to oh, that no. all right we got that going again and we fixed that problem god what a stupid issue Oh no, Fuck. yeah. Our Mountain Dew is running dry. Oh no, not the Mountain Dew. 
How could we go on without that? <laughs> Our moonshine still. It's running dry. Why even live if we can't do the do? <laughs> Alright, this is messy looking, but it works. Alright, I'm making the personal robo port. Now, do I need to make the actual robots that go into it too? Uh, yeah, I can. I can pass you a couple. Uh, you're gonna need oh. more battery power than we're already getting, though. Hmm. That's pretty much a guarantee. Okay, there's that, and then. Hey man, pass me those robots. All right. Um. Am I still holding them? No, I'm not. Uh, I'm holding one of the logistics ones. Hold on, let me. <laughs> Let me pass you one of those. You got the robot hookup. Uh, how do I drop them again? Oh, fuck. I just... Well, where's he going? I summoned one. <laughs> uh, well, fuck it. Grab him out of the air with right click. Come here. Come here. Come here. Well, he's in there. Go grab him. Come here. Gotcha. All right. They cleared that little forest. Which is very nice. Okay. I'm gonna have them clear even more. Wait, now what do I do with this logistics robot? Um, if you have the personal robot port in your armor by right-clicking your armor in the bottom right, if you have the thing in there, then if you have logistics orders and he's in range, he'll do it for you. He just has to be in my pack. Yeah, just by having them in your backpack. So if you have garbage slots, you can put things in the garbage. And whenever he's near a storage unit, he'll try and move it to the storage unit for you. Uh, and if you see how you have logistics slots uh, above the garbage, you can click there and request anything. And if he's ever near a chest that provides that, he'll try and go grab it for you. Oh. It doesn't do much yet. It will later. Mm. So, it, I don't see him, like, cutting down these trees. He like, is a logistics robot. He transports things. A construction robot can cut down the trees. Oh. Yeah. Oh, where's that robot? Where is he? Hold on, let me move this robo-port closer now. Now that we cut those... We cut the trees over here. I'm going to move the robo-port. Oh, where do I get here. a flying robot frame? There you go. Uh, flying robot frames you make at a assembly machine, but they require electric um, engines, which you also make at an assembly machine. Oh. It's a pain. We're going to automate that whole process at some point. All right. So we must have these, right? We must... Where did you get your electric engine units? I had to make them and then got rid of the machine to make them because we didn't need them anymore there. It was like a haphazard oh. thrown together emergency get these kind of thing. Oh. So wait, you like built the assembly machine and then like took down the assembly machine? Yeah, it was just it wasn't in a good spot. It was just an emergency real quick thing that I built right here of uh, there you go. Okay, I was just about to yeah, ask. Yeah, because it needs it needs the lubricant, the so that's how yeah. I did it. Yeah, when you set it up, it'll have a pipe on one end, and I just hooked up the pipe for you. Hmm. So for now, you can just manually use that. We'll put one in a better spot and automate it later. Oh shit! Uh, petroleum oh. issues again. Oh, really bad. What? Yeah, we've been really low uh -oh. on plastic for a while. It turns out we uh -oh. just got we got full on. Our light oil storage tank again. Let me fix that. There we go. All right, that's fixed. I have the electric engine unit. Beautiful. Now I can make one construction robot. All right, there we go. There we go. What's that thing being slowed down by? Nothing, actually. We're, we're making those at a decent speed. It's just, it's not getting enough drills, but it's still good enough for how I haven't set this up properly yet. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to start fixing this. Okay, I'm going to start setting up a really elaborate thing of filter inserters. It's going to take me a while. Oh, my robot just put down this assembly machine. Oh, because you walked close to a blueprint and it's like, <laughs> oh, hey, he's carrying these. 
Right. <laughs> well. Thanks, robot. Thank you. Yeah, that's the only annoying thing about having a personal robo port. Sometimes it builds shit that you were literally just planning it out and trying to figure out, like, oh, does this work? And it's like, oh, you want me to build that? <laughs> I wish there was a way to toggle that on and off on the fly. There might be, and I just don't know. I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, here's what I need you to do. Mm -hmm. Grenades and gun turrets. I want you to figure out how to automate okay. those and where good places to automate those are. And if you see good opportunity, just go for it. Um, and then we'll figure out after how to get those all in the same spot so that we have the military uh, the military packs. You know what? Don't even worry about getting those in the same spot yet. Just worry about making convenient stations for making the ingredients. Because we don't Hold actually on. need the, science, the military science packs. We don't need to need them until we have... Um, until we already have, like, a robot logistics, and then we can get them to move them to where they need to be. Hold on, I, I was distracted for a minute. Um, I was trying to mark some uh, trees to be cut down. Yep. And I think, like, my logistics robot just, like, jumped out, took some wood out of my inventory, and then went into this robo-port. Why did he not go back into my backpack? I don't know why he didn't. That's odd. Just grab him back. Huh. Also, why is it... Okay, hold on. Hold on. So I have... Uh, what is it? The deconstruction planner selected, yeah, yeah. right? And you drag a box over whatever you want them to get rid of. Uh -huh. And then you release. And okay. it'll, it'll tell you under the planner, like, what resources it would be grabbing. And that'll mm. let you know, like... Um... That'll let you know, like, if you accidentally went over something important, you'd see it down there. Wait, so, where is that? Planner? Uh, when, when you're hovering the box, the deconstruction planner, it'll have a little icon under that says, like, what you would be picking up from it. And that way, okay. like, if you see things picking up that you don't want, then you know you've accidentally dragged over something you don't want them to deconstruct. Okay. So, you know, as long as you only see wood, then you know you're hovering over the right thing. So let me, uh do this okay so what were the there. things you wanted me to automate uh okay um intermediate projects you see military science pack the gray beaker uh, bottom right I'm getting there getting there yeah okay we already have grenades. piercing round magazines automated i need you okay. to go automate gun turrets and grenades Look them okay. up, figure out how to automate them, figure out where a good place is, and then just mm -hmm. go for it. Don't worry about making the science packs, just worry about making the ingredients for now. Um, okay. The science packs can wait until we have robots to carry them to where they need to be for us. Okay. And I'm going to fix our science, because with a bunch of... If I get a shitload of filter inserters, I can make this way more efficient, so I'm doing it. Hmm. Okay. Some robots. Just, I'm walking by just the most random things, and they're like, oh, there's something I need to build. All right, so let's see. The grenades are pretty simple. Coal and iron plates. I mean, we have coal, like, all over the damn place. Yeah. So that should be pretty easy. Uh, I believe there's a way to make it remember what I want between them, but I don't remember, and it's killing me. All right, let's see. I'm going to want a splitter. There's that. Actually, I'm probably going to want a couple of splitters. Advanced material processing level two done. Okay, that's purple science packs and electric furnaces, which are both badass. And now we're getting a head start on gold. Gold? Yeah, gold science what packs. Thing? That's the high-tech one. Oh. That's what we use for the flight, for, like, having the proper logistics network of flying robots. Okay, gold science packs. Yeah, yeah, not gold metal. Even though yeah. you'd think we would be making that, because gold's actually used in electrical circuits, I believe. Yeah, I guess gold is not a mineral in this game. I guess not. Huh. What a shame.
All right, I just massively sped up our research. I just tripled its speed. Ooh, and uh, it's time for me to clean this up more so it doesn't become a complete fucking mess. Okay. Underground belt. All right, I'm going to show you after what I've been doing this whole time, just so you understand what the problem would be, and so that the audience who aren't as familiar understand why I'm doing this weird, elaborate setup of filter inserters. Because <laughs> it, it looks really ugly and it looks like an unnecessary pain in the ass, but if you don't do it, your science will work, but it'll be a lot less efficient. So focused on automating these grenades. Okay, uh, that's set up. Okay, these ones. Oh, this is gonna look good, I think. How many assembly machines should I have making grenades? Ah. Uh... I don't remember how fast or slow they get made. Mm -hmm. um, when you hover over, does it say... Uh, not... Mm. Jesus. I'm not sure. I, I, I seem to remember it's a little slow to make. I would do two assembly machines and we can speed them up later through modifications if we need to. Okay. Okay, so I got the science so, going. Now I need to improve the resources going in. Uh, so it's getting slowed down by its lack of dr of drills. I gotta fix that. No, an assembly machine one. How many ingredients can it use? One or two? Uh, two. Two ingredients. And okay. then two can use three, and three can use four. Okay, so grenades can be made. In a machine one. Okay, so this is getting slowed down by its lack of iron gears. The gears are getting slowed down by what? Uh, are we just not producing them very quick in the first place? Or... They're not getting enough iron. The iron is slow. Why is that slow? Because it's not getting enough iron ore in the first place. Mm, that's not good. Why is it not getting enough iron ore? Let me follow this back to its root. Well, not much is coming in through there. Um, I think we might need to just speed up the mine. You know what? It's probably a logistics issue over there of the underground belts aren't doing us any favors, not having them be fast underground belts. And uh, gotcha. I bet you we need some fast inserters. Yeah, that, that left one's totally busted now. Um, yeah, yeah, the issue is the train. The, uh, the, the train, train needs fast inserters at it. I'll take care of it. Yeah, that makes sense. That's the main thing slowing us down then. And then that'll speed up our science. All right, clean all this up. All right, let's see. All right, the machines are powered. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna go make a bunch of uh, fast inserters. That seems like the next step to fix that. Alright, 
where are you right now? You're up by the batteries. Okay. Yep. Working on grenade machines. All right, good. Train's going to station. Ooh, our copper mine up here. Oh, right, that's just the minor copper mine. Yeah, yeah, the big one's up there. Okay. I was going to say, copper mine's not looking so hot, but that's the minor one anyway. Actually, you know what? Do we need to speed that up yet? Not yet, but soon. Okay. Uh, up here. I think I might have done something wrong here. Uh, I'll come take a look at it. So what assembly like machines, like, plates? they input into one side and output out of the other, right? Uh, you could have them input and output from any side. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, then I haven't messed up. Yeah, yeah, you're good. Okay. You could, uh, what you could do is something is like, me. oh, your robot tried to build that. Oh. <laughs> um... So <laughs> these are grenades you're building with these? Yep, they take iron plates and coal. Okay, let me set that to grenades. What you could do then... So I could just like boom. Yeah, something like that, that. Boom. And then uh, I'll, I'll put down a pole there. And then you could use two long arm inserters. Uh-huh. Yeah. To and take like, the grenades uh, out? Yeah, and then that'll put them onto a track that we'd have over there. Okay, yeah, that works. Good deal. Sweet, yeah, get it going. All, All right. right, and then go build turrets wherever is convenient. And you don't need right. to, like, go make a big track. Just, like, this little dead-end track will be fine for now for the output. Which dead-end track? You see that little dead-end track I made for the grenades to get put on? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you can just leave it like that for now. You All can right. You can put down a chest if you want to. It's not a huge deal. Okay, I need to make a bunch of fast inserters, yes. Oh, I'm actually low on regular inserters, that's rare. I'll go grab some. Save on resources. Let's see, I will put that chest down, let's see here. We're gonna automate fast inserters sometime soon. <laughs> because we're getting to that point where we really don't need regular ones anymore. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm going to go fix up the train line. All right, so we got the good ammo producing. We got the grenades producing. All right, take this. Is that empty too? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let me just... Uh, there, quick fix on that. All right. Hmm. Electricity in the base is actually a little bit under what it should be. We might manually get some oh, yeah. some solar panels going soon. Yeah, yeah, these assembly machines are going pretty slow, and I think it's because of the electricity. But hey, I've done the grenades. Nice. They're going into a chest. Ah, shit, no, this isn't set turrets. up quite right. Okay. Yeah. No gun turrets. They're going to be more complicated. Hmm. Need iron plates, copper plates, and... Iron gear wheels. Hmm. Well, I'm really close to the plates. But I need the gear wheels. I'm sure I can, like, cannibalize those from somewhere. Ah, fuck. Let's see. Let's see. All right, put those Whoa. there. Oh, there I see the go. filter inserters. Yeah, yeah, I can explain that next time we're both in that area. These purple monsters. And then uh, this one I'm moving over by one. Am I from this side or? Oh, definitely from this side. Yeah, I gotta move this whole thing over. Let's see here. Where do I want to steal these gear wheels from? Hmm. 
The conveyor belts in this area are getting pretty noodly. Oh, I have a grenade. When did I pick up one grenade? I feel like I should go throw that Oops. at something. Yeah, just throw it at our own base. <laughs> That'll whip it into shape. <laughs> That'll show it. <laughs> Motherfucking base. Thinks it's so cool. <laughs> Having electrical problems. Yeah. This'll fix those. There we go. I just fixed up the uh, the ore line on the train. It, it was a bit slow for a few reasons. Uh, things were improperly placed on my end. I just fixed them up. I also put in a bunch of fast inserters. So the ore should be getting to its destination a lot faster now. Next time the train swings by, I'll ride it on over. I threw my grenade at some bugs. They didn't like it. Yeah, that's that's a good way to piss them off. Oh, they really didn't like it. Yeah, I'd, I'd imagine. Okay. Ooh, okay, I'm fine. Yay! <laughs> that was fun, though. Good times. Good times with grenades. Hmm. All right, um, gonna need more mines going down there at some point, but it's not the highest priority in the world. Mm -hmm. Those fast inserters have really sped up the train, though. Like, that's gonna really help. Uh, good deal. How am I always running out of iron plates? There we go. Beautiful. Now let's replace these ones with fast ones as well. Ooh, I hmm. could actually make another one right there. Let me see. Where are we actually like producing these iron gear wheels? Because I feel like they get cannibalized in like 10 different directions. There's a lot of places that those get used up by. Yeah. I mean, the line is pretty well backed up, so I guess there's not too much harm in me branching those off again. This is going to look, like, so complicated, though, I think. Okay, uh, the iron line is, or the iron ore line at least, is looking a lot nicer, which is good. Okay, uh, okay, none of those are empty, good. Just stone production. Uh, okay. There's you. Oh, one more there. Yeah, uh, while you're here, let me show you these filter inserters, why I have them set up how I have them. Okay. I could just have, because we have like one thing coming from the top, one thing coming from the bottom. We obviously want each kind of science in each machine. Of course. Um, I could just have regular inserters going in each direction on each one. The problem is it would lose some efficiency because it would constantly be grabbing beakers from things that are using them and to put them in others just because uh, it sees that there is one mm -hmm. and it'd just be juggling them back and forth forever. By okay. having filter inserters set up to only bring them in one direction, like the ones from the top only go down, the ones from the bottom only go up, then it ensures mm. that it's not going to ever rip one out of one of them that it's using. Mm. Mm. And so okay. if both of these lines were completely full right now, then every mm -hmm. lab would be like researching properly. But the thing oh, slowing yeah. us down in blue research seems to be drills. Yeah, drills aren't being made fast enough because wow. they're not getting enough iron plate because the inserters are slow as fuck. I will fix that right uh, now. It is an inserter issue, which is a happy issue because it's an easy solution issue. 
<laughs> there we go. That's much faster. <laughs> 